Exercise 6. Using subprogram, create a part program and produce component in the machine. This exercise involves subprogramming and mirroring commands. 04545 is the subprogram for the contour profile. This subprogram is called in main program and repeats for one time. The same program is repeated thrice for one time using mirror command along with subprogram call. In the next part, we will see how to create subprogram and mirror commands. For exercise 6, let's enter the workpiece size. Select job, tooling. Select billet setting. The workpiece. Dimension and work zero setting text box window is available. Enter the length as 100 mm Width 100 mm Thickness 30 mm The billet shift is known as work zero settings. We are considering the center of the workpiece as work zero. We are going to machine four quadrants of the workpiece. Set the X and Y value as 50 and top surface of the workpiece as C0. After entering the value, click OK. Next step, we are going to add the end mill in tool library. Select job, tooling. Select tool, offset. Select tool position as 1. We are going to use tool position 1 in milling machine. Now select select tooling. Double click end mill to select. The end mill is added in tool offset. Page in tool position 1. Let's define the diameter of the tool. Enter 3 mm radius and 6 mm. Diameter. Delete all the tools in tool library. Add the end mill in tool library. Click OK. Once completed the procedure, click Options. Select Dual Edit. Set the desired font size. Let's create part program in CNC Editor. In the part program, first step create program header. The program header consists of system unit, definition such metric, Feed per minute, homing command, tool change, spindle on and rapid. Positioning to start point of the program. Let's enter the first line of the program. G21 and G94. G21 is metric mode selection. G94 is feed rate unit will be in millimeter per minute. Second line is homing or reference command. Before tool change command, we need to reference the tool. It means that tool and machine table will be kept in safer parking position. Enter G91. In FANUC controller, the reference will be done in incremental mode only. If not, the tool moves to work zero position. Enter G28. G28 is the command moves the axes to reference position. First move the Z axis to reference position. Enter Z0. Best practice is always reference Z-axis to avoid collision with clamping devices. Next line, reference X and Y axes. Enter X0 and Y0. Now enter the tool change. Command. M06 is tool change. 01 is tool position 1. We have already entered in the 2. Offset page. Make sure the same tool configuration should be loaded in machine also before machining the part. M03 is spindle on in clockwise direction with speed of 1500 revolutions per minute. Note we don't use M04 in milling machine and always it will be M03. 
M04 is used only in tapping operation. G90 enables absolute dimension mode. The start position of the part program always in absolute mode. Only, we don't know the start position in terms of machine coordinate. It is easy to define the start position with respect to work zero position. We have used G91 in reference command line. It is neat to cancel the incremental system and enable the absolute system by executing G90 command. This is very important. G90 should be used otherwise you will get over travel error. Messages because of incremental mode is not cancelled. Move the machine table to start position at rapid traverse command G00. The start position of the part program is X0 and Y0. Then move the end mill down to 5 mm clearance above from the work piece. This is known as positioning of the table and tool to approach position of the part program. Note. Always first position the machine work table in X and Y axis, then Z axis. Keep Z axis, the tool, clearance from the workpiece. Next step, subprogram call of contour profile. Later we will create subprogram after completing the main program. Enter M98P0014545-04545 is the subprogram which is repeated by one time. This profile will be mirrored into other three quadrants by mirror commands. Retract the tool 5 mm above from the top surface of the workpiece. Stop the spindle. Reference the tool first. In Z direction, then machine table in X and Y direction. Stop the main program execution by M30. Command. This will exit the program execution. Let's create a subprogram after M30 command. You can create subprogram as a separate file or after M30 command. Type subprogram name 04545. O is program name address. 4545 is subprogram. Name. Let's move the tool to by 10 mm and Y 10 mm, start point of the profile. Next plunge the work piece 1 mm depth of cut in linear interpolation G01 with feed rate of 50 mm per minute. Now, move the tool in X direction 28 mm without changing Y direction in linear interpolation. Increase the feed rate when you are machining X and Y direction. Decrease the feed rate when you are Plunging the workpiece in Z direction. The feed rate depends on workpiece hardness, tool type, and it material type. Refer standard cutting tool catalog to define feed rate and spindle speed. Enter X28 and Y10 with feed rate 100 mm per minute in linear interpolation G01. Move the tool to next position X28 and Y42 in G01 linear interpolation. Move the tool to next position X42 and Y28 in G01 linear interpolation. Here both X and Y values are changing, creates, taper line. Move the tool horizontally X10 and Y28 in G01 linear interpolation. Move the tool 
vertically down x10 and y10 in linear interpolation. This is the start point of the contour. Profile. Let's retract the tool from this position to Z5 mm above from the top surface of the workpiece at rapid traverse. Note, you must retract the tool after completion of the subprogram, otherwise during machining of next quadrant. It will remove material before moving to start point of the program. Please see the image. M99 is subprogram end. It will terminate the subprogram. Execution after number of repeats defined in the main program. Here the number of repeater. Execution is one time. Save the program before simulation. The file type should be fanicmil.fnm. Let's simulate the part program. Click auto mode. Press reset to place the cursor from the beginning or first line of the program. The simulation result is shown. You can use this program to machine the part in the CNC milling machine. In next video, we will see how to use the mirror commands and do machining in other quadrants.